Calaman at with Juan Casini in concert band. For today's episode, we're going to introduce to you the flutes with our section leader, Kuya Mark Santos. First of all, I'm Ina Mariel S.T. Martinez. I play flute too at CEE in concert band. Actually, I started playing the flute last August 2009. Hi! I am Mark Santos, third year from School of Medical Technology. I am the principal flute piccolo player of Singa Concert Band. So, I am 20 years old now, and nagsimula akong tumugtog ng flute and piccolo since when I was 8 years old. Nagsimula ako sa pamilyang musikero dito sa Santa Maria Bulacan. And naingganyo ako mag-flute kasi nung bata pa lang ako, nakikita ko na yung mga pinsan kong tumugtog ng flute. The parts of the flute and how to play it. The first thing you need to know is the three parts of the flute. Here is the head joint, the body, and the foot joint. The head joint, the top. It is the part where you want to focus on as a beginner. So, sa pagtugtog ng flute, yung lagi namin sinasabi ay kahalintudad siya ng pagtugtog ng sa bote ng soft drinks. So, as you can see, yung lip plate niya at yung lip plate, may bigger na part siya. So, the bigger size, where you want to play it. Ito yung pinapatong ko sa labi mo. So, yung crown, this is the crown, is facing towards the left. Then, iisipin mo, yung airstream na inilalabas mo ay aiming down. So, it should be like this. So, putting your flute together is very simple because meron lamang siyang three parts. So, when you pick up the body, and you want to hold it on the barrel because when you hold it on the piece, they tend to bend because they are very fragile and ayaw naman natin yun na mangyari sa flute natin. So, sa foot joint naman, you want to hold it on the very head part, not on the piece because they are fragile. So, sa so pag-insert natin, yun siya. I-align lang natin yung pinakalinya ng foot joint sa piece ng body natin. So, sa head joint naman, hawak pa rin sa barrel yung body. Then, dito sa head joint, insert ko lang siya ng derecho. Ayan. I-align mo lang yung hole sa lip plate natin sa piece ng body. Ayan, patay naman siya. Ayan, buo na yung flute natin. In holding the flute, you need to control the piece closest to the head joint with your left hand and the latter piece with your right hand. Next step is to move the hole underneath your bottom hole. You need to move your thumb back and forth to do short notes. You can change the speed of your breath to adjust the pitch of the notes. So, my biggest advice is that if you're a beginner, and kakabili mo lang ng flute, don't rush to put the entire flute together. I know naman na it is same thing na patugtugin siya ng isang buo. But ang mahalaga mong matutunan ay magkaroon ng solid na foundation which is having a great sound on the head joint, cleaning and curing of your flute. Your flute comes with a cleaning rod. Ito siya. And sometimes it is metal like this and sa ibang flute naman it is made from plastic. It looks like a giant metal. And also, you will gonna need a I prefer microfiber because it is absorbent and also it prevents scratches from our flute. You will insert the cleaning cloth to the cleaning rod. Also, when you take a part of your flute, you want to remember the things when you put it together. Grabbing the body from the barrel, not grabbing it on the case. Tanggalin natin yung head joint muna. Sa foot joint, remember na hawakan natin siya at the very end. Ayan. Ayan na siya. Inisin muna natin yung foot joint. Set mo lang siya din. So, sa body naman, hindi na natin kailangan ng cleaning rod. Because yung cleaning glut natin, meron siyang kali. Body. Ayan. Gan lang natin siya kahit at least two times. Also, sa foot joint, and then. On the outer part of the foot joint, linisin lang natin siya ng ganito. 
one way lang yung pag-grab natin para ma-prepare natin yung structures. Sa body, ganun lang din. So, yung body, head joint na lang. So, nalinis na natin yung float natin. Yan. Yan na siya sa hard case niya. So, be sure na nalak natin siya. Yan. Kasi, minsan, aksidente, bumubukas magla yung case and nalalaglag yung floor. My journey of playing the flute was hard. It took a lot of patience and courage. And as I play every day, I am motivated to learn the techniques to produce good music. Not to impress, but to express my feelings and my passion for it. With the help of my family, the see concert band, I am striving hard to reach our only one. And it's to make everyone happy with the music that we produce. Thank you and God bless. Thank you for listening. Marunong na ba kayong tumugtog ng mga instrumento katulad ng flute at clarinet? O kaya naman marunong na kayong linisin ang mga ito? Dagdagan pa ang inyong mga kalaman at abangan ang susunod na episode ng CEU Concert Band Series Kasaysayan, Kaalaman at Kwentuhan with the Auto Saxophone Section sa darating na Biyernes. To get the latest episodes and updates, you can like the official page of the Centro Escolar University Concert Band or the CEU Presidential Committee on Culture and the Arts. Or you guys may subscribe to CEU Concert Band YouTube channel and click the notification bell.